Queen Queenie here. Uh, what a bloody year it's been. With this bloody pandemic and that, oh dear me. We've done well to get us through it. I mean, Philip, Philip's had it rough this year. He sat in the corner and I was as stiff as a, as a, stiff as a bloody honey about the laddies and we're both waiting for the coronavirus job but we've decided to just hold off of it while the peasants have had a go at it. Let them, we'll let them have a go and then if it doesn't kill them then obviously we'll have it. I mean, Philip, 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 God bless him, he's a hundred year old next year. He doesn't look a day over 97. I mean, he... Long gone are the days when he's got shooting elephants and tigers and uh, and lions, but I still love him. I still love him. Uh, the, the pandemic, yes, it's been a tough year, you know, down at Buckingham Palace. I mean, thank God for the grant that, uh, that Rishi Sunak gave us, because although I agree, I've got a lot of money. In, this place, this is not a three-bedroom semi. You know, this takes some. This takes some bloody running, you can't run this on 40 quid a week, you need some decent money. Anyway, let's look at it, the family's okay. I mean, we've got Princess on, she's doing fine, she's out with the hunt tomorrow. Prince Charles and Camilla, they're, they're, they're going to do a bit of shooting tomorrow, get rid of some of the bloody pheasants, because the, we're overrun with them down in Sandringham. Andrew, well, oh dear me, he's been a bit of a naughty boy, I thought, lad, but... You know what? I forgive him. I forgive him. I mean, them young la them young lasses, they did take advantage of him. I mean, he he's always been a soft touch. Where women are, Andrew. <laughs> God bless him. Then we've got Wills and Kate. They've been busy going around the country on the train and you know, visiting people and lifting morale. Then we've got oh bloody hell! I didn't want to get on to you, but Harry, Harry and that bloody that bloody black lass is going are we? I mean. She's took him to live in Canada, you know. I can't believe he's gone to Canada. I mean, uh, she's going to finish up in a bad way if she gets in a car, going through a tunnel, my, my worst nudge, nudge, wing, wing, you know what I mean? Anyway, like I say, it's been a tough year for us all, but I'd like to wish you all the best, especially you all up north. <laughs> what are you having your Christmas dinner? I mean, they have Christmas dinner up north. I'll just tell a few of those southerners. They have Christmas dinner up north, and then at tea time, What's left the fright up in the calling bubble and squeak? <laughs> bubble and squeak, have you ever heard? Oh, too stupid, but you've got to love how they make do up there. And also, with the fat off the meat, they let it set and the calling dripping and they, they have it on sandwiches. <laughs> oh, the north is the gift on keeps on giving. Anyway, our PM seal is a nice deal for Brexit. We're not paying no tax, I mean. We've got the festival of Brexit to look forward to, forward to and, the, and the Brexit coin and uh, better than that we've got another tax free here, keep paying your taxes suckers!